Hi, my name is Eliza Lucas Pinckney. I was born on December 28, 1722 in Antigua, a Caribbean island. Here is a picture of Antigua, which is a really tiny island, um, and so that's the biggest picture I could get. And um, I moved to South Carolina when I was only a child. And here is a picture of my boy, which is South Carolina. And I went to school in London, which is a really great honor because usually girls didn't go to school at all. They would help their mama with um, chores and stuff. So I, it was really a great honor for me to go to school. Um, when my, when we, shortly before we came to South Carolina, my mama died. And my dad was called to the War of Jenkins' Ear. And he gave us each a plantation. Then to my brothers, they were called to the same war. And so they gave me their plantations. So at the age of 16, I had three plantations, which was really hard work. And after four tries, I finally made known to the people that indigo was a cash crop. And here's a picture of indigo. And then you squeeze it really hard, and then you get this dye that makes your blue jeans. And um, indigo is a plant that makes blue dye. And yeah, indigo, well, indigo hits big. And everybody in England wanted it. Everybody wanted it. So I owned a bunch of plantations. And I, there were a bunch of slaves working in the plantation. Here's a picture of the slaves working in my plantation. And so I even taught two little girls how to read, which was really big because slaves weren't allowed to read at all. But I felt like it was um, important to let little slave girls read. Well, I married Charles Pinckney, and I had four children, two boys and two girls. Um, both of my sons were officers in the Revolutionary War. And um, the plan... The Revolutionary War destroyed all my plantations, and so it was very hard to get back to where we already had been, but we got even farther than we had been. And so my son Charles signed the Constitution, which was a really great honor for me and his mama, and um, Thomas became a minister in Spain, which was awesome too. In 1758, I died, and George Washington was a pallbearer at my funeral. A pallbearer is someone who... Um, is closest to you and um, picks up your casket and, um, well, that. And so that was a great honor for George Washington to be a pallbearer. In 1850, after I died, the Journals and Letters of Eliza Lucas Pinckney was published. In 1989, I was first woman to be con in inducted to into the South Carolina Business Hall of Fame. Um, and are there any questions? Alexa? Um, did you invent, invent the car in the car? No, uh, indigo is just a crop, and I made known to everybody that you should get indigo and buy it. And, yeah. okay. Any other questions? Okay, thank you.